Welcome collectors, thank you so much for joining me for this episode of Diecast Emporium. In this video we're going to be taking a look at the brand new Diecast Masters Cat Micro Constructor Collection. All of these models, which is unusual for Diecast Masters, do not have a specific scale assigned to them. However, as I show you these in a little bit, I'll kind of give you my educated guess slash opinion on what these could pass for when it comes to their particular scale. So, each of these are offered in two different box styles. So you can get them in the closed box or the display box. This is an example of the closed box, so aptly named because it's a closed box. You can open one end of the flap and the model is housed in a plastic bag. Here's the other side and here is the back. There is the top where it says Cat Micro Constructor. Now, the other option is the display box. This is so aptly named because it's a display box. The model is mounted on a plastic base with a display cover on it. So these are better suited for if you want to kind of leave the model in the box and say place it on your desk at work or in your home office. It's much better to obviously display your model like this than inside a plastic bag, whereas these are better suited if you wanted to buy one of each of these and place it on your layout or in your collection. Okay, so with the packaging done and out of the way, let us take a look at one of each of these. Now again, it doesn't matter if you buy one of each in the closed box or one of each in the display box. It's the same six models in either series. So the first one that we'll take a look at this is the 420E IT backhoe loader. So, again, if you didn't hear me at the very beginning portion of this video, these models do not have a specific scale assigned to them. However, it is in my opinion that the 420 pictured here could easily pass for an N scale model, which is 1 to 1 60th scale, if you wanted to purchase this and put it on your N scale train layout. Now again, these models are not designed to be extremely functional because they are so tiny. They're more designed to be gifts and just be display items. So for this backhoe loader in particular, the bucket will raise and lower. The outriggers are already in the deployed position. And the actual backhoe part, you can raise and you can also reach out. There you go. Also, all six of these, the majority of it is made of a mix of plastic and die cast components. So that is the 420E IT backhoe. We'll kind of give you a quick 360 degree look at it. There's the front, there's the other side, there's the rear, and here's the top down. Again, very, very tiny, but quite cool. Next, we have the 315 DL Excavator. This is another one that could easily pass as an N scale model. The functions on this include the boom being able to raise and lower, and the stick being able to go out and come back in. You can also rotate the entire excavator 360 degrees. If you wanted to take a look at underneath, that's what it looks like underneath. And we'll do a quick 360. You can see that the paint and decals are accurate for a D era excavator, which is also a plus. So again, if you are purchasing this for your model railroad, particularly your 1 to 1 60th N scale model railroad, it could very, very easily pass as a purpose-built N scale model. Next, this is the 906 compact wheel loader. Unlike the previous two models that we've seen thus far in this video, this model, in my opinion, could pass as an HO scale or 187 scale piece. The 906 is a very, very small loader, obviously, as the name would justify being a compact wheel loader. The boom raises 
and lowers the loader arm. The bucket is not designed to tilt forward or backward, but the wheels do roll. As you can see, there's the back, the side, the front, the other side, and then again, a top-down view. If you had this on your HO scale layout, perhaps doing some track maintenance or in a construction site or even in an equipment yard parked off to the side, absolutely it could pass as being a purpose-built HO scale model. The fourth model in the series is the Cat D5G XL Bulldozer or Track Type Tractor. This is an interesting piece. The reason I say that is because it's a D5G, but actually, if you scale this down to a D3G, it would almost perfectly scale out as an HO scale D3G. Again, you can change the graphics if you wanted to for those that are super into realism and accuracy. Otherwise, again, you could put it on your HO scale layout and technically it would pass. As for the functionality, this is one of the more functional of the construction minis with the blade being able to raise and lower and being able to move to the left or to the right. Looking from the rear, again, you have the CAT logo. Here's the D5G XL logo over here, the CAT logo with the red pinstriping. And then there is a view from the front. Looking from the top down, you have your exhaust and your air cleaner. And again, your open cab underneath your basic Caterpillar treads and tracks. All right. Second from the last model, this is the CAT 272C skid steer loader. Again, another model, in my opinion, that could pass as an HO scale skid steer piece. The wheels do roll, as you can see here, and you can lift the arms up or down. The bucket does not tilt forward. This model scores really high on the decal application. Once again, taking into account how small this model is, check out those lights, the cat logo. Again, the graphics over here and the forward facing lights on the front. Very, very, very good looking skid steer. Now I see a ton of options here automatically for the customizers in our community. You can remove the bucket, put on different attachments that you can make, either forks, maybe a custom made brush, custom cold planer attachments, ton of options that are out there, especially in the 3D printed community. I see endless opportunities for the 272C. Last model that we'll take a look at in this series, that is the Caterpillar 320 Next Gen Excavator. This is another one that is almost perfect for N scale, 1 to 1 60th. And this is one of the most highly functional of all these models because it does just about everything you'd want an excavator to do, including having the bucket be able to curl in and curl out. Here you can see the bucket can come in, can dump out. You have full stick and boom movements. You could even tuck up everything close for a transport load if you wanted to put this on your end scale low boy. And it also does rotate 360 degrees, just like the other excavator that we saw. So I think Diecast Masters agrees with me in terms of the 320 potentially being the most popular of all six of these because you can also get the 320 as a cool keychain. And I have one of those to show you as well. How cool is that? There you go. Probably going to add this on my keys as soon as this video is finished. All right, guys, so a couple quick things before we end the video. Again, I went over the fact that you can purchase these either in the closed box or the window box. The closed box and the display box, they, they come in large assortments. So the closed box is 36 pieces. There's six each of each vehicle. The display box comes in a 24-piece assortment of four each. Now, if you wanted to purchase one each of all the models. So let's say you wanted to purchase one each in the closed configuration. That's going to cost you about $24. If you wanted to purchase one each in the display packaging, that's going to cost you a little bit more just because you're paying for the base and the display case. That's going to run you about $36 at the time of the video. So it doesn't matter which way you go. Again, that's both very, very affordable to most collectors and you're getting a very high quality product that you can put on your desk at work, in your home office, or even in your display cabinet. 
As always, I'm Tommy with Diecast Emporium. Thank you all so much for watching. Take care of yourself. I'll see you in the next review.